Kaneko Kitten's been hiding so much from us, guys. Today, I'm going to cover five insane secrets about Kaneko Kitten. Welcome back to Blocks Flow. Let's get into the video. Number five, alternate channels. Kaneko Kitten has three more channels. His second channel on YouTube is under the account named Kaneko Kitten Talks, which is now inactive. His third channel is named as Kaneko Kitten. He claims that he will still upload on this channel, but will upload other games other than just Roblox content, just like he does on his Roblox channel. For quite some time now, Brian has been uploading lots of Minecraft, especially Hypixel and Skyblock on this channel. He got this channel running after going through some troubles because sometime after uploading his first video, Kaneko Kitten was no longer monetized, which means he wasn't able to receive ad revenue. Brian explained on his main channel as to what went wrong and how it happened, which got removed because of putting wrong AdSense when making the video. The channel was dead, so Brian renamed it, this channel is dead, go sub to the new one and made a new channel with the same name as before. He made his channel in 2016, and his very first video was about the Roblox Phantom Forces commentary talking about channels having 101,000 views and 2.9 thousand thumbs up from where his journey as one of the best YouTubers started and right now his channel contains 813 plus videos with 901,000 plus subscribers. His most viewed video is no one has ever beat this Roblox obby. It's really impossible with over 2.1 million views and 55,000 thumbs up. He uploaded it six months ago, gaining a lot of appreciation in the comments section. He also has his own merchandise, which his fans can order whenever they want. Well, because sometimes Roblox staff has been proven to watch my videos before, and maybe, just me. Number four, he has other work than YouTube. Brian is that YouTuber you not only see spending time making YouTube videos, but also going to work. He used to work at a subway before making his own YouTube channel, and today also he goes to work and gives 6 hours each day to his job, and literally comes back and gives 4-5 to five hours into making a YouTube video for his fans daily. So it's like he manages both his personal life and YouTube life like a pro, because he manages to upload videos daily despite being a hectic schedule. He says people think being a YouTuber is easy, but it's not, because managing personal life and YouTuber life is not easy at all. So other than monetizing and demonetizing things by YouTube, being a YouTuber is hard meetings with influencer managers at Roblox that is confidential regarding the program and whatnot, so I will not be mentioning any- Number 3, Controversy with the Usernames Some time ago, Kaneko Kitten was about to be banned from Roblox. He got some hate due to Cyrillic and special usernames being reset sometime later after a video about the subject on his YouTube channel. Because of this, he made a video explaining about the reset asserting and claimed that it was a coincidence that the usernames were reset at the same time when he uploaded the original video on special usernames. One user watched his video and told the Cyrillic usernames to the Roblox team by emailing on roblox.com support with terminating, resetting, and any future Cyrillic usernames or maybe a Roblox staff saw the video and reset the usernames themselves. By sheer accident that you're immediately someone at Roblox will just call you on their phone like the second they see that video. Number two, he is called Flamingo's clone. Flamingo, also known as Albert Spencer Aretz, is an American Roblox YouTuber who also uploads videos on Roblox gameplay. He is known for his funny style videos. People often call Kaneko Kitten Flamingo's clone because the voices resemble each other and a lot of their style of adding commentary in their videos is somewhat similar. Both Brian and Albert are very good friends. They even follow each other on social media accounts, indicating that there's no sort of rivalry between them. Brian first paid no heed towards these comments, but they started to grow and made Brian upset. He even filtered Flamingo's name on his comment section as people were constantly calling him out on mimicking Flamingo's content, when in reality he's not really doing that. He also talked to Albert regarding this matter, as how he filtered his name and how so many people were comparing him with Flamingo's style. Flamingo understood him and agreed that it does get annoying after all this, they are still very very close friends. Small clothing designers on Roblox that don't have that type of money to shell out to- Number 1, being a YouTuber gets him bullied. Brian has always been low-key about his sexuality, but he did tell people about his pansexuality quite a long time ago, but this doesn't stop him from being bullied today also. The fact that he is pansexual did not go in his favor when he revealed it one in one of his videos, as many people unsubscribed from him and he got many hate comments regarding that. He doesn't understand how something which is so personal to him affects other people and he doesn't force it on other people and doesn't even mention it a lot in his own videos and stuff, so why people bully him on this is something we can't get a hold on. People actually ask him to not be gay as they don't want to unsubscribe from him. Unbelievable, right? But that's true as he showed some comments in his video. Poor Brian also gets body shamed on YouTube comments too. As someone commented, he is so fat and ugly like a pig. Now, okay, whatever, it's gonna stop Roblox bots. What's the issue here? The issue is the lot of s This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.